Ah, cabinet painting. I was doing that today. Now, I, I like how he's got everything masked off. Do you see how nice that is? The, the plastic is tight, so it's not going to, like, flap or fold over into the coating that he's putting in there. And then you notice he starts on the top first, and then he sprays the bottom. And we can talk about that in a second. Yeah, and there again, you talk, mentioned tips in the last video. Um, I'm guessing he's using a s smaller fan pattern and probably a smaller orifice. Yeah, for, if it were me, I'd probably be using like a 310 is what I would probably be using. Um, the other thing I just, and, and this this video just happened to pause right here that I, I think that it's a really good point, is notice he's getting the underside of the cabinets too. So a lot of times, especially when you're painting a dark color, you shoot the gun and this mist kind of like kicks in and kicks up underneath the cabinets and then, then it gets misty. And, and so this, this guy is making sure that is that it's all solid and it all's pretty. That's what he's doing. So what products would he be using here, Chris? Um, hopefully an enamel of some sort. Um, I mean, I know we're getting into what the shortages, uh, through the pandemic era, we had guys switching to uh, satin or semi-gloss wall paint on cabinets just because we couldn't get enamels. But um, yeah, I would say it's probably a, a water-based or latex enamel and um, looks like a satin finish. And mm -hmm. so, yeah, without knowing what company he works for or where, where he's at, couldn't specify a specific product, but definitely a cabinet enamel. Um, there again, satin finish is the most common and that color is on trend with what people are doing, going with that darker pop of color in their kitchens. And then, you know, just to give it a little bit more life and look. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very on trend. And as far as primers go, what primers would you recommend for these cabinets? Those cabinets, um, they looked pretty good to begin with. So um, just a latex primer. Uh, I don't think you'd need a full stain blocking primer, but if you did, uh, yeah, just a water-based stain blocker, or if you were very concerned about the bleed, I'd step into one of the quick dry um, oil based. So like a cover stain or a kills type product. Um, and then if you need it, or you, and you could just spot prime as needed or a full coat all the way through, give you that nice lockdown of whatever was there before. Fair enough. Okay. I wanted to, to double back. I had mentioned that he started spraying the top cabinets first and then went to the bottom. And the reason why you do that is because if you spray your bottom first, it's going to be wet, obviously. And then you're going to, you're going to like be leaning over the bottom cabinets as you're trying to spray the top cabinets, or maybe your hose is going to slap up against it. One way or another, you're probably going to end up damaging that coating and then you're gonna have to sand it out and redo it. So this guy was really smart. He started on the top and worked his way down. That's exactly how I would have played it. Okay. And it looks like he's that hose he's got on there. So I'm guessing he's spraying with an airless pump. Would you do an airless or would you go to like a cup gun or? Personally, I, I like an airless. Um, I used to use HVLPs, but that I haven't really used them in probably 15 years. The airless technologies with the, the different size tips, in my own personal opinion, I, I think they're fabulous. And it's nice to bring one sprayer to the job and I could use the same sprayer to spray the ceiling, spray the walls, switch out the tip and you can spray the cabinet. So it's it's kind of a one-stop shop for sprays, sprayers. But I do know a lot of guys just love using a cup gun and there's nothing wrong with that yeah it's a it's a lot of personal preference isn't it yeah it, it, it is it is and obviously like you had mentioned earlier as long as it looks good in the end and the customer is happy that really is the most important thing so it sounds like you definitely give this one a definite win yeah and i i just gotta say again this this guy's masking is tight i mean this guy's a pro this guy's a pro. This 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 is not just a win. This is a big win. This guy's good. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.